you had a lot of the, 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 in the late 60s, you had the immigrant wave coming in from, from South America and Mexico, but even farther down than that, around the Honduras area, you had British Honduras. British Honduras in 1961, there was a big hurricane down there. And one of the hugest hurricanes in the history of that area, 1961, British Honduras. Wiped out a lot of people, made a lot of people homeless. A lot of those people from British Honduras came to Los Angeles. Okay, we're talking history here. A lot of them immigrated to Los Angeles because they were displaced. Now that there were people from that area in LA, they kind of had a little, a, a, a lifeline. They had a family line from LA to that area. In 1973, that area, British Honduras, was named Belize. It was renamed Belize, okay? In 1981, Belize, they got their independence, early 80s. So a, a, a lot of Belizean people came to L.A. L.A. is full of Belizean people, especially South Central in particular. South Central L.A. is full of Belizeans. Got about 30,000, 40,000 Belizeans in South Central L.A. A lot of Belizean. Do you know a lot of, a lot of the gang members in L.A. come from Belizean backgrounds? A lot of folks don't know that. A lot, especially the Bloods. Because when they came over, you had the, the Crips starting, the Crips, yeah, a lot of those bloods are Belizeans, yeah. A lot of Belizeans are in LA and a lot of them are bloods. A lot of them are bloods. So yeah, and also it's, it's, it's close to Colombia. So that, that drug pipeline, you, you dig? But a lot of bloods come from um, Belizean backgrounds and some Crips too. I think the, some of the Harlem Crips, some of them were founded by some of those Belizean immigrants. From what I remember, uh, it was the Harlem Crips. I know um, some it's very few Crips, but a lot of bloods have Belizean backgrounds. I know um, OT Genesis is Belizean. Yeah, he's, yeah, I think he's Belizean. Also, a lot of Belizeans went to Chicago. A lot of Belizeans went to Chicago in the 60s, too, in the 60s and the 70s. A lot of them went to Chicago. And a lot of other immigrants started to come into some of these urban areas in the 60s and 70s. So now, remember, you got some of these immigrant groups, especially in, Bel in Belize, they have their own cultural differences there. You got the Creoles and the Garifuas. I, I forgot certain certain types of different immigrant groups within Belize because Belize is a very small country and it's surrounded by these other Spanish countries. So it's a lot of mixtures there and a lot of beefs and differences and, and stresses and stripes and shit down there. So remember, a lot of folks come over They come here with some of that same tribalism within their culture. So again, Garifuna, right, right, thank you. That's the word, yeah, Garifuna, yeah. So remember, a lot of folks come over and we're another tribe. We're another tribe to them. So a lot of times when niggas start beefing, there's nothing for a motherfucker to blast this dude. That's nigga, he's... He ain't me. That nigga's from another tribe. So that's when we start. When we see all these immigrant groups come over, people who believe they're from other tribes, see, we're on some, hey, our brothers, our brothers, black on black crime. Yeah, yeah. Like, we shut them down. They had a black man hanging on the back of their jacket with a rope. Spook hunters was a umbrella term. That was a term like, you know, black people are spooks or whatever, and we're white boys, and we're going to catch them. What exactly like well, happened? Uh, well, the white boys and them 41 fools cut down, would ride by, and call you all nigga, this, that, and that. And we fought with them. Once I, I learned about these white gangs, I learned about the, the, uh, the response to these white gangs. There's a gang called the Slawsons, a gang called the Farmers, the Businessmen, a gang called the Gladiators. These are all black gangs. And I learned about these famous gang members back then. I started to hear about Bird and about Chinaman 
and then these are Slauson's, and, and it dawned on me, and me and my buddies on the block, we're in the Slauson area, so it's starting at the end of grammar school. We said, well, we're going to be Slauson's. We are from the South, so when we come to the city, we was confused mm -hmm. about prejudice. Racism and, pre and prejudice was the order of the day. It happened every day. We couldn't go there, we couldn't go here, mm -hmm. we couldn't go that. So I call us, we're not gangs, mm -hmm. we, are, we are the pioneers. Right. Mm -hmm. that open up mm -hmm. Los Angeles where that we can be in Centinella Park, mm -hmm. where we can be across mm -hmm. Crenshaw. And Gardena, well, Gardena. Gardena. Yeah, these existing gangs, the Slausons, the gladiators, the businessmen, who kind of like fought the white boys throughout the city. Then there's no white boys to fight. Jesse Owens' part used to be called. You from Shreveport, you got Kidfolk, California. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, Tukey Williams, he's originally from Louisiana. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Raymond, Washington, his people are originally from Texas. Oh, but see, lack of accountability. I'm going to get deep. So, let's look at this. Let's look at it like this. Because he even tried to say Belizean people migrated heavily to Chicago and influenced the violence in Chicago. Again, a lack of accountability. So, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go down the top 20 list. I'm gonna go down the, the cities, the top 20 cities in the United States with the highest murder rate. We're talking murders per 100,000 people. Number one, St. Louis, Missouri. Two, Baltimore. Three, New Orleans. Four, Detroit. Five, Cleveland. Six, Las Vegas. Seven, Kansas City. Eight, Memphis, Tennessee. Nine, Newark, New Jersey. Ten, Chicago, Illinois. Eleven, Cincinnati, Ohio. Twelve, Philadelphia, PA. Thirteen, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Fourteen, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Fifteen, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Sixteen, Indianapolis. Seventeen, Louisville. Eighteen, Oakland. 19, Washington, D.C., and number 20, Atlanta, Georgia. Now, why did I bring up those cities? Not only because they have the highest homicide rates, but let's see what percentage of black immigrants live in those cities. Because maybe we can make a correlation. Maybe we can say that these cities have a high black immigrant population. Therefore, maybe they are increasing the crime rate in these countries, I mean in these cities. Maybe it is a black immigrant. Remember what I said about those cities? Remember those cities? So let's see. So let's see, the, so this is the percentage of total black population that is foreign born by metro area. Now this is metro area. Now those were cities, but you, you get the point because that is, a, you can't compare again these are the cities with the highest percentage of foreign born black immigrants. Boston, 37.8. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, 35.4. New York City, 29.4. Minneapolis, St. Paul, 28.0. Providence, Rhode Island, 23.7. Seattle, Tacoma, 22%. Per, 22%. Um, Orlando, 19.7, Hartford, 18.9, Denver, 17.0, Washington, D.C., 15.9, San Jose, 15.0, Columbus, Ohio, 13.8, Portland, Oregon, 13.8, Austin, 10.6, Houston, 9.6, San Diego, 9.5, Dallas, Fort Worth, 9.5, Phoenix, 8.9. Los Angeles, 8.6. San Francisco, 8.4. Tampa, 8.4. Atlanta, 8.1. Las Vegas, 8.1. Baltimore, 7.6. Philadelphia, 7.4. Cincinnati, 6.8. Kansas City, 6.6. Indianapolis, 6.3. Raleigh, 6.1. Jacksonville, 5.8. Charlotte, 4.9. Chicago, 4.2. Riverside, California, 3.8. 
St. Louis 3.0, Detroit 1.7, New Orleans 1.5, Memphis 1.3%. Did y'all did y'all hear what I said? I'm not gonna go down the list. You should have heard it. You got it. Those percentages are the total amount of black immigrants in those particular metropolitan areas. Some of the most dangerous cities in America have a black immigration percentage lower than 8%. Lower than 8%, y'all. Some of the most dangerous cities in, the, in, the, in America, St. Louis. St. Louis, for one, is the most dangerous city in America. Only 3.0% of that black, the black population are immigrants. New Orleans, only 1.5%. Detroit, only 1.7. Memphis, only...